Minecraft, the best selling game of all time. Everyone has played Minecraft. I mean, it's practically on every system known to man. Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, PC, PS Vita, iPhone, Android, Sega Genesis. But the Nintendo versions always stood out to me for some reason, specifically the Wii U and new Nintendo 3DS editions. Minecraft on the Wii U came quite late in the console's life in December 2015, and ever since I got a Wii U, I always thought this game would be the perfect match for this system. I liked this port, it was a good time, and just cool in general to be able to own Minecraft on the Wii U. I don't know, there's just something oddly cool about it. Whenever I meet a new group of people and they always do that thing, tell me something interesting about yourself, I always go with the classic. I'm one of four people who own Minecraft on the Wii U. They always look at me like I'm a weirdo, but I can tell it's just pure jealousy. Although the gamepad was heavily underused on the Wii U in general, one thing it was great for for games was inventories, maps, menus, things you would usually have to pause the game for and interrupt the action. So when I heard Minecraft was coming, I thought this would be great for using maps, crafting, accessing menus, you name it. So when the game launched, what great gamepad features did they use? Absolutely nothing. They just did that lazy thing that every developer started to do towards the end of the Wii U's life and just used it as an alternative screen. Why? While it did have some basic touchscreen controls, that was about it. They could have done so much more with this version and I thought maybe the reason it took them so long to make it in the first place was to make it more unique and stand out from the other console versions. They could have even added split screen support where one player uses a gamepad and the other the TV. They could even have added a cool zoom feature with the gamepad. There was so much potential. But I guess a lower effort port made more sense because not many people owned a Wii U. Lack of gamepad support aside, Minecraft on the Wii U is basically just Minecraft and there's nothing wrong with that I guess. While it didn't include everything the Xbox One and PS4 version had, like it was missing a few blocks at first I believe, I'm not sure if they added that later down the line as I know they received quite a few updates. It also didn't run as well as these versions but let's be real that's to be expected with it being the weaker of the three consoles at the time. However, if you had a Wii U and you wanted to play Minecraft, this version was good enough and pretty much included everything you would expect to see on a console version. They also included the Mario mashup pack thing which I believe is just a norm for all the Nintendo versions now anyway. Although I didn't really play this too much myself, you can play as Captain Toad which automatically makes this the best game of all time. Overall I have a soft spot for this version mainly because it's the Wii U and it's kind of cool we actually got Minecraft on this thing because for a while I didn't think it was going to happen. I'm pretty sure they even denied it at some points even though this could have been way cooler than the other console versions. I'm still happy that in 2015, I could play Minecraft on the toilet with my gamepad. Could you do that on the Xbox One? No. Speaking of playing on the toilet, let's talk about Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition. There are many reasons why this port stood out to me even more than Minecraft on the Wii U. Firstly, just the novelty of it. Not many people even know this exists. It still sounds strange to say it out loud. Now this isn't the first portable Minecraft game, not by any means. Minecraft Pocket Edition released in 2011 and was quite mind blowing at the time, especially because smartphones were still new. It also released on the PS Vita and funnily enough, the Nintendo Switch the brand new console in 2017 got Minecraft before the 3DS. But there is a reason for this. For those of you who didn't see the new part of Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition, only for New Nintendo 3DS New, this game is exclusive for the Game Boy Color. The difference with this system, apart from it being new, is that it has a C stick an extra thumbstick to allow for better camera control. For a game like Minecraft, this is a necessity. Although I still find it odd that they waited to release it in 2017 when the new 3DS originally came out in 2015 and the console was still very much alive at that point and the Switch wasn't there to overshadow it. But I guess you could argue they can't always predict these things and they did release it around the time of the new Nintendo 2DS XL and they had that special edition too, but still, Kind of weird, especially with the Switch coming out at the start of that year. But the question is, how does this game actually perform? 
Obviously, they had to cut back quite a few things to make this thing run on a 3DS. Unfortunately, my 4K shader mods won't work and it doesn't work in 3D, which is a shame. I believe they promised it would at some point and they'd add an update, but they never did. I would have loved to try this in 3D, but it still runs fine, all things considered. Perhaps my favorite part of this port is the inventory management. That's right, they actually included it on the 3DS version instead of the Wii U. Probably because they had no choice, because let's be real, they couldn't just leave that screen blank. Now in terms of features, it does include quite a lot. Everything you would expect to see, minus a few things. Despite Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition being the greatest game of all time, it does have some issues. It's pretty bad. Just kidding, it isn't that bad, but it really is the last portable version you should pick out of all the options. I'm sure you have access to a phone or a tablet. If you plug a controller in, it plays much better on there and is still supported. My main issue with this port is the controls. They are just so uncomfortable. I remember when the new 3DS first released and I heard some people saying the C-Stick is actually quite good. It isn't. Those people clearly didn't play for more than 30 minutes at a time because after playing Minecraft on this thing for an hour, my right thumb literally just dropped off. Also as well, the render distance isn't the best. It's only about five chunks or something, but let's be real. This is to be expected. You aren't picking up this version of the game for next level graphics, ray tracing, 120 FPS. That's what the Fire TV edition is for. Overall, Minecraft on the new 3DS is alright. I do have a soft spot for this version as well, mainly because of the novelty aspect, and it is a fun time playing, even with some of the limitations. While there are many portable versions out there, if you have to play this version, you'll have a fun time. You just really need to get used to those controls though, because honestly, I couldn't. It's just a shame this couldn't have been released around the start of the 3DS's life, it would have been mind-blowing at the time with it being one of the first portable Minecraft versions, but that isn't Mojang's fault. This thing just wouldn't have worked without the extra thumbstick, and you can't expect people to go out there and buy the Circle Pad Pro accessory. But obviously, if you had to pick one version of Minecraft to play out of all of the Nintendo versions, the Wii U, Switch, or 3DS, of course, you should pick the Virtual Boy version. <laughs> Sunrise.